Okay, and hello again friends, welcome to another part of Masquerada. Currently we are in Sivers, uh, continuing our investigation of the disappearance of our good friend Razitov. Uh, in this investigation our brother is helping, is helping us. But uh, before we go any further, after the battle with this big, big crap, we should, um, we should quickly upgrade our characters have new skill points. Uh, for our main character, um, I'm kind of inclined to go with uh, this Earthworm Blade because Earthworm Blade because the skill proved to be very useful. Whenever a non-Earthworm elemental attack is activated, the target will be forced to attack Caesar for three seconds and. Uh, whenever an Earthworm attack is activated, Caesar recovers 20% of his maximum focus and mask charge. And also we have Fisher. Fisher is also super super nice. Attack knock, uh, attack knock enemies back, which is super nice. The caster leaves a trail of fiery Earthworm airs behind that deals. I'm sorry, 5 damage per second for 5 seconds to all enemies that touch it. Um, okay, let's let's go with it. Okay, and we can even have increased distance by 33%. Okay. No, we cannot do that because it costs 2 to skill points to upgrade. Okay, let's see what we have here. Maestro Caesar gains 2% uh, focus, health, and mask charge regeneration boost. He also gains 3% uh, attack speed boost, movement speed boost, damage boost, skill cal down, and damage reduction. Okay, let's. Let's. No, it's also cost 2. Okay. So open any, any additional skills would cost us 2 skill point. So we can continue to increase, we only can uh, increase our Earthworm Blade. Uh, strike the target enemy with an... Okay. Target will be forced to attack this room. No. Let's go with this skill and also let's upgrade skills of, uh, of, of our companion. We also have two skill points. So here we have the Pavizia skill. Increased damage reduction by 10 and three generation by 20%. Have water sprout. Calvin blasts an enemy with a boot of water for 15 damage and activate elemental decks. Let's see what else. Conjures to sphere of water. Doesn't sound pretty interesting. Calden releases an energy pulse of recover 4% of his maximum focus. And Tom's element is it. Okay, Calden stomps, stomps the ground and conjure a flood that deals 40 damage based to enemy within 5 meters. That sounds pretty interesting. So, we can. Uh, let's see what can we do. We can increase. What else can we do? Increase mask charge regeneration by 2 per second. Increase attack speed by 30%. By 30%, that's really good. Uh, uh, yes. And we cannot do it. We cannot do it. Maybe let's uh, spare the skill for now. Oh no. <laughs> I did the wrong thing, but okay, it's all right. Okay, so we are ready to continue our way. Mask runner, you were right. Come on, we're almost there. What if they try to kill us? Then we defend ourselves. Simple. Yeah, that sounds pretty, pretty simple. Okay, let's read about mask runners because so far I didn't know 
uh, everything. I don't know everything about them. The mask runners of Umber are often regarded by the Sith uh, as scoundrels and thieves uh, who use the masquerades they have acquired through whatever means to commit act acts illegal in nature. This notion, however, throws a tidy blanket over the fact that a vast majority of them are simply doing whatever it takes to eke out uh, a living in the difficult world. Okay, well, let's continue. So, we are going down, alright. <sighs> What's wrong? I am not the lightest person around. You'll no, be that's fine. True. Come on. Please. Come on. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, I hope he will survive the fall. Or maybe not. Yeah, whatever. I told you. Get him! Okay. So now we are. Yet in another fight. Press H to instruct uh, a companion to stand ground. Okay, I'm not going to do it right now. Press B to open the party behavior menu to configure A uh, of A of our, of your companion. Well, I have the. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes. We've got this. Um, if I quickly see throughout uh, the party behavior, I disable the AI control because for now, when we have only two characters, it's it can be really annoying, especially in the previous fight with the crab, who the guy constantly gets just uh, before just before he, just before he, his attacks. So. Not really that much useful. Okay, let's try Fisher and then go for an archer. While you try to use the stack to see. Okay, that was good. Hold command. Customize, alright. Okay, go for attack. Okay, let's move. From this range, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't doesn't look very much very nice. Him. Okay, yeah, that's a good damage. Okay, we have our Fisher recovered, so we can do this. Okay, and one of the mask runners is down, so now we have two and two fight. Okay. Um, that can use the water spoot and we can use the arson blade in this case. I don't really know how I st still don't understand pretty well how this um, how this attack system works but uh, uh, however, however this uh, arson blade uh, deals lots of damage to our opponent so so far so good Okay, he has his, um, his skill on, so we can focus instead here. Now, wait before he finishes. Okay, he finished and he can be sure. Okay, he go. If you're walking around in all that blue, we don't stand a chance. What do you... This one's got wide hips. His trousers should suffice. His shirt isn't even going to cover half my chest. Point? Oh, fine. So we disguise ourselves. Impressive tattoo. Hadn't thought you'd be the type. Yeah. Thanks. What's it about? Are you here to investigate me or my brother? <laughs> Come on. Well, both of you, in fact. What do we have? Ah, it's Codex. But we don't have new things but so uh, we are going to continue and here we have two directions so let's they go here. From here there's enough food to last them weeks an outpost see what you can find okay let's see what it is but 
I don't understand of all the words why this one. I've heard, uh, I've heard all it has are softies and uh, it isn't uh, defensible and it's so close to the damned white spire. Why there? Why here? Of course I asked. They say the herald wanted this place specific, uh, specifically. I don't know why I asked but my master couldn't tell me. And I don't know enough about the herald to guess either. I just know the herald wanted this war. This war real bad. So we have this herald guy, and Matteo. Sorry, not Matteo. So we have Matteo and Harold to deal with sooner or later. Anything interesting? Well, whoever wrote this talks about a figure called the Herald. Yes. I found this too. Wait for the Herald's command, nothing else. Herald? I don't know. I've never heard of him before. Then he must be new. Or I might not be as knowledgeable about the Maskronis as everyone in this damn city seems to think. <sighs> there doesn't seem to be anything left for us. Okay, let's quickly read about the Herald. From pieces of uh, mask runners writing, I've discovered it. I've discovered it seems uh, there is a figure uh, in their ranks called the Herald. I know not uh, where he stands or who he is, but I believe it would be in our best interest to keep this name in mind. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder whether this uh, Herald and all this uh, band of mask runners are somehow connected to our uh, investigation. And if they are connected, how? Okay, we have uh, a fight here. Let's go with the Fisher. And you please use your Roger Spoon. Okay, good. And now use the Arsene Blade. Okay, we deal with. Let's go for the. Okay, let's. Quick. It runs all the time. Okay, oh, we have. We have reinforcement. So you finish this one, so can you please continue to do something about. Well, I will try to somehow attack them all with Fisher, like that. Super nice. Okay, let's attack him to finish this one. Yeah, that's good. him while I while I will continue to push it out of this bunch. Okay good. Go there. And use your skill to finish it. Okay we have quite a fight here. Let's continue. Is that a masquerine? Ages. You must have missed it under all this filth. And it's raw. Hmm. We'll have to find an Artigiani and Fabra to help us touch it up. I can't be seen walking around with it like this. You intend on keeping it? Well, I won't tell the registry as long as you don't. <laughs> All right then. So, we have uh, some masquerine. Let's read what is raw masquerine. Masquerines did not always look the way they do now. The first masquerines that uh, were discovered seemed to be made of white plaster and ha had none of the embellishments that are present uh, on them today. Those were added uh, when the concept of guilds arose, in order to better distinguish the masquerines uh, of one guild from another, and also because it would be aesthetically more ple uh, pleasing. The practitioners of the Vigia in the individual uh, individual guilds began the practice of 
ornamentating masquerades. Uh, that practice has uh, persisted till today, and seeing a raw masquerade is incredibly rare. So, we have... Um, we have... These masquerades need to be decorated first. So we have this raw masquerade, the raw mask, uh, which later I suppose we can uh, ornate somehow and give it some properties, some features. That's interesting. Let's continue. So this one had better hold. Yeah, I hope. Okay, so we right, are outside of the sewers. Now what? Now we look for our glassmith. We should start with the central marketplace. I think it's through that corridor. Okay, I hope we will not have fight uh, fights with soldiers who are supposed to clear this quartier from masquerades. Coded? Green for produce, red for smithing, teal for leatherwork. The glassware? Yellow. Okay. Well, it's uh, lots of these guys here. Really lot. Really lot. So it was a good idea to disguise themselves. Ourselves. The wards of Ombre. When the concept of wards had, be, had been introduced, they were received well by the population of Ombre. As the seat grew, however, territory became scarce and the boundaries of the wards began pushing against each other. In modernity, wards are commonly fought over, sometimes through political maneuvering, other times through physical displays of aggression with the victor claiming the conquest ward as new territory. Okay. Okay, and what not? Mass coroners and the media. Okay, let's read it. The media are taught to the masquerade by the various guilds, all of which have their own ways of instruction. Mask runners, however, do not have this privilege and learn to build the elements by themselves. Without proper uh, tutelage, uh, the finesse with which they wield their powers, powers pales in comparison to the masquerade, and this is what uh, has helped to sustain the inequity between the two factions. Even after what my brother did uh, at the beginning of the War of Bearings, disturbing masquerades uh, to mask runners, the mask runners have found it difficult to combat the masquerade because of this gap uh, in proficiencies. Some scholars are of the opinion that without any training in any of the media whatsoever, the mask runners should, in fact, have been uh, quelled years ago. Why this isn't uh, the case baffles them. However, the portieri uh, have worked hard to crush the rebellion, but yet their efforts progress far more slowly than the case should be. So I suppose they have some kind of training on their own, of which we have no knowledge. Let's quickly see what's here before moving forward. Uh, there is nothing much here. Okay, let's continue. Looks like our glassmith's taken off. Hopefully he left something for us to find. What are you thinking of? Orders, receipts, anything that might flesh out his connection with Raz. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, so we have to find something here. I found Which... something. Okay. What is it? An order. A half a hundred glass bell jars. Who signed it? Raz himself. His okay. signature is. Hey! Fine day, fellas. Aren't you supposed to be. The game. Supposed to be where? Damn! Too close. Indeed. We should hurry. 
The order he placed for the jars was supposed to be delivered to a house up that street. So, they are going to have fight with soldier. What I would really, what I would really like to have is a shield like this mask on our woman. So. Must have happened at the gate. We should keep moving. Okay. <laughs> they don't care that we move in another direction. <laughs> okay. So now we know that our friend ordered 50, I suppose, glass jar. So. Okay. Marco? Marco, we're supposed to be. Oh no. You're. Okay. I've got some. What? What? What do you have here? That's interesting. That's, that's interesting. So I will try to go here while you try to aggro them and hold them in line so I can use my skill to hopefully attack all of them. In Your backs. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Let's. While he's using his skills, let's try to attack this guy from the back. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Okay, and now we have to use the Fisher. The another guy is down already. Okay, that was very efficient. I really like this skill because it really allows us to do much damage to several enemies oh god this guy he hits like a truck with this big hammer okay what was we don't have time come on okay let's continue We still cannot loot the corpses, uh, which kind of bewilders me, but anyway, seems it's not the game mechanic, so whatever, the game is funny without it, pretty much good. Can we go up? Tight. More searching, less cursing, Mariner. Okay, so we are in his kind of laboratory of this craftsman. Me. So here lies our shipment. But what was he using them for? Oh, it had something to do with that Fay in his office, definitely. Other than that, though. Okay. Wounds, Bane. <laughs> My mother's favorite. Oh? It's a natural disinfectant. She applied it a lot when I was a child. So, you're one of those kids. You don't want to hear the stories. This fights for a dozen a week. You and who? Well, mostly with... I don't know. People. And? Forget it. Okay. What's that story I'm about the child? Paper. They're all clean, too. Paper. Just like what the Fae were made of back in his office. There. I don't understand. The blood. Okay. There's blood elsewhere as well. Well, look at the pattern. That blood was dripped, not spattered or spilt like the rest. So it was kind say? of a ritual. This blood here, in this circle, it was shed deliberately. The only question is what for? And whose blood is that? Decent healer, aren't you, Mariner? I'd like to think so. What? Oh, tight. What? I wouldn't done so. Don't mend it yet. What are you testing, Spatore? All right, Mariner. Now would be a good time. My palm, Mariner. Did we just heal me, Calden? I've got you. Okay. In another fight, let's. Try to be quick about it. 
create in fame. So these creatures can be created, I suppose, by this mysterious way. Let's let's uh, God. I will never be able to find it here. Character slow. Great and fame. Never in the history of Ombre had its people learned how to summon the fantastical fae that roam the land around it. Always we have simply found them, inexplicably, inexplicably, but never have we witnessed a birth or creation of one. Now, however, uh, that seems to be changing. The ritual in Rosita's office is evidence that they are born of elements from the world around them, and I suspect it has something to do with bloodletting. The details are scant enough that I am left with merely postulation. But hopefully, this investigation that I am on will bring us closer to the truth. Well, let's hope, but that's already something. So now we know that Razito somehow found a way to create the thing using some ritual, some elements of environment and blood. Okay, there are more of them. Why you can't? Can, can. Do it, why not? Careful, we're lacking the focus one. Strange, okay. But you can you can use the arson blade, so why not this? Still okay, whatever, maybe some something prevent us from. Okay, we have a skill point. I can't believe it. We just summoned Faye. No one else in the entire city knows how to, do they? Tides, how did my brother even? It doesn't make sense. What? The blood. Too much spilt in too many directions. There was a fight. People. Yeah, I guess they I'm fought sure with a fight in a place like this. With Faye, whom they summoned. Highly unlikely. There was a purpose behind this bloodshed. What? Unlikely to kill. To capture them. Incapacitate. You think someone's taken my brother? And left this place standing, blood dried, evidence strewn around. Why? Why would they do that? All right, Renia. We. Don't. What a surprise. Your child is wounded. Don't listen to him, Renia. The Mariner is a healer. It may not be too late. Please. Masquerine, off. I'm not asking again. Olas, please. If he meant to kill us, we would not be standing. Answer my questions and the Mariner will tend to the child. Anything, please. When you claimed this ward, was there a man who owned this house? We saw the Herald leave here carrying a body. It's how I knew, thought it was empty. Was he alive? He was struggling when I saw it. Then they have him. Calden, tend to the child. Who is this Herald? Our leader, who speaks on behalf of the lady. The lady? With the lady? She's lost much blood, but she will survive. Thank you. Lady, bless you. Thank you. So, lady. Who is this lady? Yeah. Lock. Move aside. Portieri. Calden, cover their necks in the blood. What? Do it. Get down. Senencia Vitris, sir. I see the old Cicero Gavar has not forgotten how to defend himself. Yeah. We're fine. 
We were given orders to bring you to the Valencio, sir. I'll await you outside. Gaffar. Thank you. Play still. Okay, so we have the information about Harold, Lady, and some updates in our case. My brother never mentioned anything about the Herald or this lady that he seems to be the spokesperson of, but I suppose that should not be surprising. My brother left the power void in his wake that others must have rushed to fill. This Herald must have been the victor, but his place as leader of the Mask Runners makes me wonder, what happened to Lysandre Rorik, my brother's second in command? We'll see. Maybe it's this. Okay, let's see who is the lady. I <coughs> I'm sorry. I cannot claim to be an expert in all things related to mask runners, but I do find it surprising that this is first that I am Heron of this lady. Apparently she is a figure in the Mask Runners ranks that and has a mouthpiece whom they refer to as the Herald. But any information beyond that is cast in shadow. She must have been a recent occurrence and uh, which makes the comment that she has over the Mask Runners even more surprising. Okay. If she, if the the woman there swore by by her name by the name of lady maybe some kind of half deity or they are some kind of sect. Okay, let's just quickly read case note and make more skill and upgrade some of our skill. Okay, okay. I don't remember whether I okay. Investigating a timorous letter to a house in which Razitov had been conducting experiments. From what I've gathered, uh, he had learned uh, how to summon Fay. There is a ritual of a sort involving the shedding of blood and the presence of sufficient loose material that they can shape themselves from. So they in fact really uh, use the environment to be created from. I suspect the mists that have been becoming more evident in the seat have something to do with it as well. Yeah, because we saw some uh, mini piece of white, some mini cloud of white mist before the thing was created how uh, he came to be in possession of such knowledge or what he even intends to do with all this faith faith is beyond me i do know uh, however that the begulus would be most interested in this information there has yet to be anyone in the seat that has claimed understanding of the brighton uh, birthing birthing i'm sorry birthing of fate. Perhaps while I visit them in the Conocenza, I will le learn more about what Razitov had been searching for there as well. Hopefully that will lead me to understand what in all the legacies of Mask Runners could possibly want him in the house with with his experiments. Calden uh, and I ran into a family of mask runners who admitted that the mask runners captured Razitov. This that is not enough information to work off of. The mask runners are a large faction and infiltrating their ranks would take too long. Besides, I am not welcome there in the list. They they would likely choose to kill me over giving me the time of day. No, going to the mask runners is not an option. 
Yeah, that's really not an option, but we can grab one of these guys and Silencia, just a try to How take did some information. You After you left, the Valencio ordered a couple of us to follow you. He knew you'd turn up something. Damn it, Tristan. There. That's a big sword you've got. I would love to have the big swords like that. But even more, I would love to have a shield. But it seems that we cannot, at least so far, change our equipment. So let's do the Fisher. What? What? Why in the name I cannot do it? Okay, now I can. That was... Okay, let's, let's go out of the range here, try to sneak here and use your water skill. Now continue with this. Okay, good. And future again. Good. Good job. Out of the range, please. This guy still has a lot of life. Okay. Good job, we have finished the time. So what's next? what next? Oh yeah, let's quickly have a look at our skills. So we've gained one skill for Cicero Gavar. And I suppose we've gained he still has one skill, one skill point left. Okay, so so far I cannot upgrade except for this. No, it also costs two. Okay, so we have to wait before upgrading. Uh, before upgrading our skills, I really want to upgrade Fisher because that's a really incredible skill so far. Currently in combat. Okay. Well, not really, because there are nobody later. Okay, so the fight goes on. Turn. Exactly. Then does it do? Cicero casts a 15 meters wide aura that lasts for 10 seconds. Enemy within the aura have their attack and movement speed reduced by 25%. That's pretty much good. Okay. Let's continue here. Into some more fights. Okay, this. One is some kind of a mage. I wonder whether it's what no I cannot I cannot take. But let's do this and then quickly return to Okay we we just killed her. That's nice. Oh wow yeah he really killed me very quickly I didn't don't have time to react to this. Okay. Let's hope our character will not die. Come on, sir. The Valencio's in the marketplace. Okay. I don't know whether we'll recover tower else or not. But let's see. Oh, there is a very, very big battle take, that takes place here. So let's not let's not meddle to join. This is a good guy. Let's deal with him first. No, no, that was rather unfortunate.
luckily he stands on uh, the fiery ground. Let's kill him quickly before he uses his skill. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, I hope we will have some prisoners from this fight whom we can interrogate. They are very, very interested in some kind of mage which use Trommel, I don't know. That's, that's very, very interesting mechanic. That's the magic here. Okay, uh, our guy is in danger here. But hopefully everything will be alright because we have many enemies to fight with. Let's quickly look at the skill point. Okay, we can. Finally, we can upgrade something, so we can either increase our distance by 33 meters, by 33%, or we can go for the Maestro skills, increase damage by 10%. There are no, when there are no allies within 4 meters, allies in combat gain 5 damage reduction. It's super nice skill. <coughs> Whenever Cicero changes stance, he gains 20% damage boost for 10 seconds. Gains more mask ultimate when mask charge is spent. Cicero gains Dirge, Palizia and Sicario ways of mask regeneration regardless of his current stance. Okay, let's, let's go with uh, this beautiful skill. And later we can upgrade it even more. After casting Fisher, the caster might cast it again for free within 3 seconds. Super good. So we basically will have uh, another Fisher for free. Enemies turn to stone to stone uh, and become stunned for 2 seconds. Also super nice. And also the skills of our companion. What can upgrade? What we can upgrade here? We can upgrade increased damage reduction by them. This one doesn't prove to be extremely, extremely useful, but increased damage reduction by 10%. Let's, let's go for it. Super nice. And let's speak with our friend. Valencio. How are the other sections? Majority have returned successful. Minimal casualties. The Herald? No sign. However, we do expect to wrest full control of the ward within the hour. You follow me without my consent. Senencia, you are dismissed. It is good to see you as well, Cicero. You used me. Cicero, please. I did not come back for this. Why do you think I didn't tell you? I am sorry. I truly am. But if I had asked you to help us find another way in, you wouldn't have. So you acted behind my back? Used me to kill my brother's people? They have killed so many of ours. This sends a message, Cicero. A message that could potentially end the war. At what cost? I am not made of stone. I have a heart. But it goes out to my kin and blood before their murderers. Performing my duties requires me to step over your ideals. I am sorry. I know you see your brother in them. I understand how you understand nothing. <laughs> Senencia, get the Inspitori and his companion their attires, please. I know it may not mean much, but I am sorry. But you would do it again. Yes, yes, you would. Inspettore. But to me, uh, Tristan has a point here, really. We'll be here if you need us, sir. Thank you. So, 
we have reached another chapter of the game, which is nice. And at this point, I suppose it's uh, it's time to finish the video. I will continue uh, the new chapter in another video, which hopefully will be soon. So I thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.